This is George Schwertle with The Gray Report, and I am here with my partner, Mark M.K. Hello, everyone. And we are here today interviewing Joanne Waski for Riverhead Town Council. Joanne, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you. Thank you so much for having oh, me here thank, today. Thank I really you. appreciate it. Thank you for being on the show. It's Absolutely. Great. It's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. Mm. You want us a couple questions? Yeah, so, um, you know, I got the chance to um, meet Joanne at Diggers, yes. uh, a very friendly local place in Riverhead Main Street, a place where we, we kind of, we consider cheers, where everybody knows your name. Um, I got a chance to watch you on the debate, and it was very, um, I was I was very impressed with your delivery and some of your initiatives um, and what you're about. What inspired you to want to start running for councilwoman here in Riverhead? Well, I've always been very involved in, in town. Um, since the time that I was a young girl, I used to go to a lot of the political functions. Um, my family was very involved in, in politics. So I, I always had a good vibe of what was going on within the town. And right. then I was appointed to the planning board and as chairwoman. And I got on the planning board thinking, wow, I'm going to be able to, you know, do do great things and say no to this and no to that. And I suddenly realized that there's there's so much more that goes into it. It would be better for me to help the residents of the town to be on the town board as opposed to the planning board. So it's kind of a stepping stone. I'm already involved. I've I've learned so much. I'm, I'm on the job. I've been doing the job. And I feel that I can help the residents more on the town board. Mm. Wow, that, that, that's, that's really great that you said, you know, I'm just reading a little bit about you. Now, you've been there for 50 years. I am born and raised in Riverhead. I grew up in Aquabog. Uh, I am 50 years old, so I've been here my whole life. Wow. My, my husband, he has been here his whole life. He grew up in uh, Riverhead, Aquabog, went to Aquabog School. We both graduated from Riverhead High School. Well, really? It's, I, I don't mean, mm. Riverhead High School, I, I think you said your mom and dad graduated from Riverhead High School. My mom and dad graduated from Mercy High School in mm. Riverhead. Wow. Um, they both grew up in Riverhead. And my mother and father-in-law uh, graduated from Riverhead High School. They both grew up in Calverton and Polish Town. So I think you know a little bit about the town. Just a little. <laughs> just, a little just, a little. just a little bit about Riverhead. Okay, I think you know. Just a, wow. Uh, and you've been married, you said, for 27 years? 27 years, yes. And, and I have to throw this in Patrick. there that, that you met your husband 30 years ago at, Bur at Bernie's in Calverton. I did, I did. I hustled him for a game of pool. 30 and years I won. Ago. Oh. <laughs> That's right. And I won that night as well because we've dated ever since that night, and I get to be his wife. That's beautiful. So. That's great, and you have three children with him. We do, we do. We have 25-year-old twins. And a 21-year-old. That's great. Wow. I have a question. Sure. 50 years in Riverhead. What inspired you to stay? I have never wanted to leave. <laughs> Honest, honestly, <laughs> I, I feel that Riverhead is one of the be most beautiful places. Mm. And to see people that want to come here and vacation here and know that we love, that we live here, right. that that is so inspiring to me to to want to stay um my family is here you know my my cousins my aunts my uncles they we all know each other it takes me you know an hour to go to the grocery store because all my friends are <laughs> are here and we're stopping and talking and um there's no other place that i would want to to live it's ab absolutely beautiful here so you have the you have concerns. You you you. This is your backyard. Correct. Yes. This is your backyard. And, and again, just to jump onto, uh, I, I saw on your palm card. Uh, tell us a little bit. No jet uh, cargo port. Correct. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, I think that there's kind of been a little bit of a fear factor put into the town by um, a certain group that has been telling people that there is going to be a jet port, a cargo port. Uh, the town board last week, actually each board member addressed the residents of Riverhead right. and said that there can be no cargo jet port in Calverton. It, it's, it's, it's not allowed. It's not zoned for it. And I've, I feel kind of compelled to put on my palm card no 
jet port, cargo port, even though they they can't have one because people are, I believe, being misled. And I, I want them to know that if there was the case of a cargo port coming to EPCAL, I would do everything in my power to fight that for the residents of Riverhead. I don't want jets going over my, my home. I respect that. I respect mm-hmm. that. And it sounds like you're speaking for all the residents. Correct. I, I like that. I like that a lot. Is you the know, noise one of your concerns, too? Absolutely. Those, those jets would be going right over Calverton and sure. Wading River. They don't need that. That would uh, disrupt their quality of life. And, I mean, if I'm concerned about it out in Jamesport, I can only imagine how the people in the surrounding area of EPCAL would feel about that. So they, um, they have my word that, that that will not happen out there. I like that. I like that. And I know um, that you obviously are pro uh, law enforcement. Your husband was a police officer in the town of Riverhead for 28 years, I think you said? Yes, yes. Okay. He uh, he was police detective when he uh, retired after uh, 28 years. My son is on uh, the job for Riverhead now for a year and a half. I believe he's been out of the academy. So um, I am proudly endorsed by the Riverhead PBA, the... Um, Suffolk County PBA and the Suffolk County um, Association, so for uh, police association. So I, I definitely they have my support. I would like more police officers to be hired in the town of Riverhead. Mm-hmm. We need to tighten up our security. Um, you know, we, there's a couple problem areas that have to be addressed, and overcrowded housing is also one of them. Sure. Um, so, so there's there's a job to be done. We just need to support the police in order to get those things accomplished. Sure. And, th- and thank you. I mean, we'll thank your husband and your son for their service. But again, people forget, thank you. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're the mom and wife at home. That's true. When, That's when true. When they're out doing it, what they do, protecting. And a lot of people don't, you don't realize that you're, you know, you're biting your nails sometimes wondering what's going on, you know. And, and thank you so much for that. Thank, thank you. you so much I for that. I appreciate you recognizing that because you have no idea how uh, many yeah. Christmas mornings I've sure. opened up presents with the kids by myself. Sure. Or there's a hurricane uh, going on and my husband's running out the door and I'm left home. Sure. No, no, taking no. Care we of recognize everything. that. We recognize so thank that. You. And I think your son's with the fire department as well, right? Yes, he's James a volunteer Port? firefighter for uh, Jamesport. And they are so happy to have him. They have a great group of young men coming um, in to volunteer now and it's great to see for our town that the younger generation is getting involved well uh, following in the footsteps sounds like mom and dad gave back to the community and they're doing the same <laughs> that's right you know i think that that's 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 great that's great you know for the kids to get involved and, and again they followed mom and dad well who better than to learn from you are a legacy resident well that's true that's true <laughs> so i'm very we're very proud of our children i, I like how your card says uh as your town council member, I will never forget I was elected by you. Why is that? Because I think that sometimes the residents felt, feel that they are not being heard. Mm. That um, it's something that's been very important to me on the planning board, that when people come up with concerns, that I don't interrupt them. I listen to them. I let them talk. I want to hear what they have to say. Um, I, I want to earn their trust, and I want people to vote for me because I have the best interest of Riverhead at heart. This is my town just as much as it is theirs, and we need to work together in order to move Riverhead forward in a positive direction. And if we're not working together, nothing's going to get done. It's so so important. You have to work together. Mm. I like that. I like that a lot. And, and that leads me to you, you. You had mentioned earlier about protecting the farmland. Absolutely. We have the best um, farms, the open space, the beauty of Riverhead. When you, when you drive through Calverton, Wading River, Aquabog, Jamesport, to see all of the, the open land and just to see, you know, a farm family out there still being able to, to work their farm. It's beautiful. It really is. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I know when I'm, you know, I'm the guy on the side of the road having that roasted corn. Let me tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you what, my first, my first job was actually um, in Aquabog uh, on a farm. 
and it was just when the agatourism started sure. kicking up, and I used to ride a hay truck mm. and in the wagon, and I would tell all the visitors about what was going on with the agriculture, um, you know, what we were growing and mm. how that's long great. the process takes. It, it was it was great. I really that's, that's great. I got to tell you, I mean, it's just it's great here. And, and again, so we're going to go from the protect the farmland. I know you mentioned we had a great discussion earlier, and you mentioned traffic. Correct. Right. So, you, you, yeah, I mean, traffic. It is a concern. It does get jammed up in in the town of Riverhead going out onto the North Fork. And this is the opportunity opportunity that our farmers have to make their money. Um, there, There was a time that the farmers were really struggling trying to support their family. Their, their families are not just mom, dad, and two kids. They're sisters, you know, cousins, aunts, they're, they have to take care of a lot of people in their, their family. So this is the time that they're able to make their money. And, and most of us have learned by now that we just have to prepare for the traffic. I, I, I know it's rough. It's really only a, a few, you know, weekends out of the fall that are really bad. But the fact that we're able to, to help the farmer be able to sustain their family is so important. Oh, I think that's why people move there because of the farms and the beautiful scenery, right? And that roasted corn on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> it always it is to, the best. It always goes back to. Can't forget the me. roasted corn. I've waited in that traffic for the corn maze with my kids, and I got to tell you, it's worth. It, it is a lot of traffic, but it is Ooh. worth it. Everybody goes home with a smile, right. yes. you know, and that's yes. really uh, at the end of the day, that's what we want. That's and, and nobody knows more about it than you after fifty years being there. Yeah, yeah. you know, that, I'm so impressed by that. You know, um, and I like your answer. When, when when I asked you what inspired you to stay. Now, 50 years, you've seen a lot. What are some of the changes you would like to make? Well, I love what is going on downtown right now. Uh, with the downtown, the square, yes. Yeah, the downtown revitalization with the town square. We have an amphitheater coming uh, there. We that's have a, a great playground that's going to be coming to, for the children there's going to be so many opportunities for people to come out for free to come and see uh, live presentations and, and music in the town square. And, uh, you know, during election season, unfortunately, so many um, negatives are focused on and we forget about the positives. And there there are so many wonderful things going on. And I want to be a part of seeing them move forward and continue with the good work that our town has been doing uh, throughout the years. So um, the fact that I'm already part of it gives me, you know, a, a mile ahead from everybody else to be able to continue moving it forward. Right. That's great. That's mm-hmm. great. I like that. I like that. You're seeing a playground. I heard her say something about music. Do you know anything about music? <laughs> <laughs> I've heard him sing. He's outstanding. I can sing a tune or two. <laughs> I've seen you, I've seen you in the town singing. <laughs> I told him everything he knows. No. <laughs> Short of time. Short of time. <laughs> I, and, um, I, I know you said you have three children, and they're all residents in the town, which is great. They are, so yes. Between, uh, you get three votes right there. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's right. 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 Maybe, you, that'll, you know, maybe that'll help me out. i got to tell you, it, it, it's really... Um, you got some. You got some card here. I, some resume. I mean, I see the fifty years. You know, you know I, I interview a lot of people, and, and even uh, myself, uh, I'm involved in some political things. And it's always nice to be able to say, you know, I was born and raised here. You know, um, a friend of mine's a superintendent, and I say, you know, he was born in that hospital. Yeah, you know, he went right. to that, graduated that school. Mm-hmm. You know, he. You know, sometimes you get a phone call. Uh, he, you know, and I, I work with him, and he's like, you know, "Oh, there's a flooding issue on such and such road," and he's like, "It's been flooding there for forty years." <laughs> right, right, it's true. It's true. <laughs> you know, Definitely. so it's so you know uh, the ins and outs. You've driven all the streets out there. You know Riverhead, I think, better than anybody. I mean, you really do. I mm. sincerely believe that to be true. Uh, one other thing, I'm also a business owner. Um, I own a title insurance company, Peconic Abstract, located on Ostrander Avenue, right in downtown Riverhead. We've been there for 40 years. It was a family business. I've been the president since 2008. Uh, So my knowledge of real estate is extensive. You know, we specialize in uh, deed and mortgage insurance. I I know contracts. I know surveys. Uh, So much experience comes with that. so It'd be I, a great asset to, to the board. I mean, you know, I believe so. yeah. you'll yeah. see these contracts coming and you'll see everything coming right. through. So, again, right. being in, in you know, that field and seeing all those contracts, you'll definitely be uh, 
on top of your game right. there. With well, that's how I was able to be an asset on the planning board. Sure, sure. So mm. I was on a planning board once, so I know you see everything come in and the approvals and mm -hmm. what's good for the town and the aesthetics and how it's going to look. And, right. you know, I, I got to tell you, mm -hmm. I think what an asset for Riverhead. Yeah. I mean, thank you. you know, Definitely. Thank you. I mean, I, I consider you a friend. Like we sat down, we spoke, and I know that you're a people's person. And I would love to see you, you know, um, in, in, in town hall. I think it's, uh, I think Riverhead, it's a, it, they should definitely put a legacy resident like yourself in in that in that seat. You do, you know, I mean, I mean, let's say it again. Fifty years. Yeah, I mean, you have. You don't, come but, on. That's like a, a mic drop. <laughs> <laughs> because of, because fifty years. It, yeah, drop. I mean, you know, a lot of experience, a lot of rich experience. I mean, you've seen Riverhead develop. I have. It's, right. You know. So. Um, yeah, where the town square is now, I actually worked when I was in high school at Sweezy's. Wow. Look at that. You know? Look at that. I mean, <laughs> and that, that's where the town square is. So. Graduated high school there, went through the elementary, went through the whole school system, prom, you name it, married uh, in yeah. the town. Uh, yeah. I just got to yeah. tell you, what a yeah. Harder River Riverhead is, very, is, is going to be very lucky to have you. Thank yeah. you. Because Thank I, you. I can see that. Rip, I mean, I'm just going to leave off 50 years. <laughs> I have nothing more to say. 50 years in Riverhead, you, you take it. Well, I would just leave off with this uh, this last question. Um, what are some of the exciting things people can expect from Joanne Waski? Um, transparency. I like that. Absolutely. Um, I plan on being available for everybody, approachable, right. honest, listening. I want you to come into my office at Town Hall at our new town hall on on uh, Second Street, which is beautiful, by it the is way. absolutely yes, gorgeous. Yes, yes. Um, but I want people to know that they can always come to me for the positives, for the negatives. I'll have an open mind. I want to hear from the residents of Riverhead, all of Riverhead, Wading River to Jamesport. Mm -hmm. So it's so important to me. I'm the one that you can stop in the grocery store and. Tell me what's going on with your family. I want to hear everything. She's a mom. She's a friend. She's a neighbor. She's Riverhead. Yeah, she's Riverhead. I am Riverhead. Yeah. I'm Riverhead for <laughs> Riverhead. <laughs>